Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Bob Gross. It's uh, 6.57 on Wednesday, March 10th. Uh, just wanted to get up and offer a couple thoughts for the morning to encourage you, and then uh, one announcement uh, here today. Hope you're enjoying your morning thus far. Having a little coffee here myself. Okay, some people have gotten back on. Good. Okay. Uh, so today I just want to give one um, one announcement. So um, tonight we had um, scheduled uh, Faith for a Lifetime. Uh, it's the second Wednesday of the month. And uh, today uh, we are going to cancel that today uh, with all that's going on. Um, it's helpful to me if there's a couple less things on the schedule. So uh, we are going to cancel tonight's Faith for a Lifetime, so everybody knows. Um, we'll do that topic some other time. It's about obedience and dissent in the church. Uh, I just don't have the time to, to put that uh, presentation together. I have it in my mind, but you know it takes a little time to kind of work it out um, uh, in order to make it into a... An, an evening together. So we're going to uh, cancel that today. If you can please pray for uh, Patty and I, uh, we're going over to uh, the Myers house to make the final details uh, of the mass. So please pray for us with that today. Pray for the Meyer family. And then uh, here's my thought for the morning as you're starting. Um, I'm looking outside and there's a lot less snow out there. Uh, just a week ago, we were still pretty full of snow. And as I see the snow uh, kind of come away, I'm very thankful. I'm thankful for the warmer wet, uh, weather. Um, I'm thankful we can um, turn down our furnaces, maybe get ready to turn off our furnaces. Um, but, but what emerges underneath the snow is, um, is messiness. Um, all those old leaves and the yard looks kind of nasty. Um, the snow is getting uglier as it melts away, you know, and now there's a real chance we're stepping into to mud. You got to watch yourself. Like I was at Dunning Springs uh, again uh, a couple days ago and I went there four days, five days ago and it was still pretty solid ice that you could kind of gingerly walk on. And then the last time I was there, that, that ice was really starting to disappear and you were unknowingly stepping into mud. For me, that kind of brings up my relationship with spring. Uh, I, I frankly don't like spring. Um, and it's precisely because of that messiness. Um, uh, the weather is, is, is inconstant, right? Uh, for many years, I had to qualify for golf teams uh, in the spring. And it's always the worst darn weather to play golf in is in the spring. I wish that they would just make the golf season perpetually in the fall. It's just better weather, I think. Um, but in that, though, there's this, in, in this messiness, there's this hope. What's the hope that's going to happen? Those, those warmer temperatures, um, the sun coming up earlier, um, you know, the, the birds are starting to sing again. Um, eventually we'll see some buds on the trees. Um, and I think that's why the Lord chose um, Passover and uh, Easter to be at, uh, at this time, uh, because it's a sign of the very world is giving us a sign of hope. But at the same time, though, that hope is experienced in a really messy way. Also, I think it's beautiful to realize that we came from the ground. God, God took into his hands the clay of the earth and blew into it um, and made, um, made a human being. 
we are we are from the earth. So if if the earth is is messy, uh, there's going to be some messiness in us, and we're going to experience the messiness of others. But there's the hope that that we will be glorified one day. That hope is that hope is what drives us to deal with the the sometimes heavy burden of our humanity. Uh, last night I offered a holy hour for uh, everyone, and uh, I uh, uh, some of the requests for uh, for prayer was for the strength to deal with life. Um, that, yeah, that's that, that's that messiness in life. So, um, anyway, the, that's just the thought that's kind of to mind is that, you know, there, there's hope, but when we see the hope start to go forward, we are going to see some messiness in life. And I think that's why God started with creation and then he ended with redemption, right? And he wants those two things to be deeply connected. So whatever messiness that you are in right now, um, remember the hope that is promised to you. That God's going to bring you through it. Whatever mud is in your life it's okay because God wants to um, God wants to cleanse you with his life that helps you to take on the, the messiness of the world um, that's all I got today hope it helps you if it doesn't you can you can skip the video so God bless you know of my prayers for you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.